This is related to the defecation reflex. Pause the video to read this. Okay, hopefully you've paused. Some key things here, we've got um, rectal distension initiating some signal. We've got an internal sphincter made of smooth muscles. We've got an external sphincter as well that is voluntary. So these are the questions and these are the answers. So we're gonna have stretch receptors, mechanoreceptors, the defecation reflex. When I ask that, I'm talking about the reflex triggers relaxation of the internal sphincter muscles composed of smooth muscles. So this is asking about the smooth muscle reflex, autonomic. What type of muscles do you think the external sphincter muscles are? They're voluntary. Voluntary muscles are skeletal muscles. So skeletal. Okay, let's look at this defecation reflex. So step one is our feces is going to enter, are going to enter um, the rectum. So that's happening here. Let's actually um, add a little detail here. Here is a feces. And when that feces enters this area right here, that's going to stretch the rectum. This is the stimulus detected by stretch receptors. Sensory receptors in the rectum that carry afferent information via the nervous system to the central nervous system. This can be so afferent or sensory. This is unconscious, right? And actually, let me label what, no, we'll stick with that. This picture here is the stretch receptors, actually. That's what those are. So this is the spinal cord here, as you can see. So this can be an unconscious signal that results in here a reflex, a spinal reflex. Do you remember those? One that goes through the spinal cord. Um, it is initiated by, so these fibers here, actually so I do have that, are parasympathetic. You know they have to be autonomic because we're innervating smooth muscle. And actually I will try to be consistent with that. This is the smooth muscle that is the internal anal sphincter. It's smooth muscle. It cannot be innervated by the somatic nervous system. It's innervated by autonomic and specifically parasympathetic, which is going to stimulate defecation. So parasympathetic nervous system stimulates contraction of the rectum and relaxation of the sphincter. So the, tr the, the output signal is going to be relaxation of our target. So this is going to, actually I'll do it over here, relax. What happens when the sphincter relaxes? The feces come out. So that is the defecation reflex. However, you can override the need to defecate um, most of the time. So that is initiated in this um, cerebrum. So conscious control. Hey, I don't wanna poop on the floor right now. This would be a somatic motor neuron nerve, really a bundle of neurons. Um, this is voluntary. It's going to innervate the external anal sphincters, which are made up of skeletal muscle, which makes sense because they're voluntary. 
we can consciously contract these and inhibit the feces from passing through. If it's convenient to use the bathroom, these voluntary muscles are then inhibited so this sphincter can relax and the feces can pass through. Pretty cool example of a autonomic nervous system reflex in conjunction and related to a conscious control over that reflex. It's kind of like just stopping the knee jerk reflex, but much more like interesting, um, I think, in terms of um, body functions. All right, this is what we just did. 